Hi Virgo. Here to do your June 3rd, okay, through June 17th reading. Messages of love and light, messages to govern and guide, messages of clarity, Lord God. All right, is Virgo on the right path? And then judgment pops out. Y'all cards want to speak. What's the main obstacle for Virgo? We're going to get into a five card advice spread. Anything that comes up is what comes out. What is helping? That's your main obstacle. The hangman. Aquarius had the hangman in that same position. So if you're dealing with Aquarius, both of you guys may be at a standstill. So I'm on a rising. Um, what's helping you? The two of cups and the eight of wands. Okay. How can progress be made? How can progress be made? Alright. I'll show you what flipped out. Nine of Wands. The King of Pentacles. It's you. The Star card. And the Seven of Swords. Yeah. I'm going to put them back in there. So some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. And I just said they had that in the same position. So kind of awkward. What you need to do is let your guard down. Maybe they do. How can progress be made? Make some wands. Take the next step. Uh, bottom of the deck, justice. Okay. Virgo, some of you could be dealing with Libra. We've got the Knight of Wands. As you, this is you right where you are. You're taking action on something. You're doing what you want to do. You're being passionate and passionately driven about something. Um, not a lot of thought, not a lot of foundation here. You're just doing whatever you want, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising. Um, are you on your correct path? Well, the cards say to look at a, a certain. If you're. To be asked, are you on your correct path? And then to pull judgment is to say, look at something a second time. You know, um, if you're acting as in this manner, careless in a sense, you might not be on your correct path. You know, you might be seeking freedom here or seeking something. So look at yourself, judge yourself, judge the situation with a, a new set of eyes. Uh, what's your main obstacle? The hangman. It could be a Pisces. It could just be that you're, you're stagnating yourself by way of just doing doing stuff. Trying to keep yourself busy. Even doing stuff at times you might not even have any business doing. Um, what is helping you? The Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands. A successful relationship. A mutually beneficial relationship, a, a mutually loving relationship, soulmate connection, eight of wands. Um, you might be moving toward this, maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, or you already have this existing. Um, how can progress be made here? Is to maybe reignite the passion here. The cards are asking you to enact some, to, yeah, have balance in your situation. Balance yourself out. Could be dealing with the Libra. Justice, Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I thought this was what it was. Some of my Virgos are walking away. They might even be going through a divorce or some kind of le legal uh, battle. Some legalities outside of the relationship. Or, you know, it could be walking away from a relationship, becoming single, cutting something, or cutting yourself out of a situation. The Wheel of Fortune is here. 
saying that you know um, this is supposed to happen the fort the wheel is turning what is being dealt is what's being dealt um, some of you are having some victory in singlehood maybe with the cancer Pisces Scorpio you were separated from yeah you this air sign you're dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius has been spying on you could be a Libra you made a decision to not put in any more work putting in work got you to a place where you felt like you just did it didn't get you to gain you you felt like you did all of this work for nothing it got you to the page of pinnacle not the ace of pinnacle not the knight of pinnacle you're having strength and letting something in the world and having reconciliation or third party situation that will cause heartbreak heartache someone to feel backstabbed but it's self love now even though you keep looking backwards it's seven of pentacles the world and the will are here um, you've gone as far as you can go in this situation stay in it if you want walk out of it if you devise the plan of action to leave if you're going to leave or stay But staying just uh, further stagnates. You think you're at the, the place of being stuck. All right, career and finance, career and finance. Some of you deal with fire signs who are in and out. They just do what they want to do. Um, then also dealing with air signs who are spying on you. They don't know what's going on with you. You're dealing with other Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Looks pretty stable there. Okay. You as you are. Are you on your correct path, Virgo? What's the main obstacle there? How can progress be made? Here we go, Jack of Diamonds at the bottom of the deck. Okay, in the plan cards deck, this talks about a dishonest, disloyal, untrustworthy person or off offer coming in. So, you might want to think about that. You, right where you are, six of club. Success in business, helping your business, career, or f your finances. So, that's, that's beautiful energy. Are you on your correct path? The seven of spades talks about devising a plan also. It talks about the loss of, this could be loss of friendship, loss of relationship, loss of, but you're actually cutting, severing ties with something. So it talks about, law, you know, the loss of a person by way of uh, you trying to gain something here. You know, you, ha you know, you have to leave something behind. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon. What is the main obstacle here? Okay, new love, new marriage, five of clubs. That's what that talks about. Change, newness, new love, and new marriage. That's the main obstacle. Um, maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. What is helping you? Eight more fire, sun, moon, rising, eight of clubs. Um, this talks about the trouble in your relationship due to jealousy and greed. Now, you may be having rapid communication with someone else or with the person that you're having the trouble with. Uh, about this relationship things are moving fast you're talking about it you're talking about maybe how you want out or how you're devising a plan this is normally in secret though and you're, you're trying to cut ties with maybe Aries Sagittarius Leo how can progress be made four of hearts uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio have a change of journey change of home all together um, this offer I don't know and then we got the king of wands that came up i mean you're definitely dealing with fire signs uh sun moon rising ace of spade the death card uh an ending a, a beginning this looks like love right the successful relationship two hearts you had that in the last spread reconciliation regret not saying things jack of hearts i'm um, honest sincere extension of your emotions to a situation 
maybe to uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh. Or maybe you feel trapped to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and you want divorce and or separation. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Six of Cups because you feel like there's love elsewhere or a soulmate elsewhere. Seven of Clubs, you are very... You're standing your ground on how you feel and what you want here. Your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex. Also, you'll have success and prosperity in what you're doing. Uh, wish fulfillment. Not before uh, some sudden event comes in and shakes up the foundation. But it takes you to a place of having a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend here with the nine of clubs. Uh, opposition there. Third party. Somebody comes in and tries to... Once again, shake things up. Someone maybe you're taking a break from or having separation from. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, money looks good. Large sum of money. Winning the lotto. Just inheritance here. And new love or friendship. You have a reliable friend here. Jack of Clubs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Here's you. King of Diamonds. Nice. Money's good. Ace of Diamonds. Wow solidifying a situation starting a business getting engaged moving in together making a large purchase ten of diamonds right money looks good family life looks good for you uh, even baby news surprise news maybe with uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius typically this is Libra or Aquarius we got Gemini here um, yeah I don't know. Money looks good. That's what we were trying to get at, right? Um, I think your money. Some for some of you, your money is tied up in the family. Also, You're trying to figure out how to do that. What that looks like to separate from your family. Um, what that looks like financially. Let's get four cards of advice for Virgo. Okay. All right. Hobbies. Everybody's been getting hobbies. Take the next step. Body changes. Motivation. And we have that Ace of Wands in the first spread at the bottom of the deck support. Nice. And you have that Jack of Clubs, a reliable friend. I hope you get through whatever it is you're trying to get through. Hobbies. Everybody's been getting hobbies. You know why? Because this is the sixth month of the year six is about uh peace serenity finding balance sometimes you only do that those things i just mentioned by creating that energy for yourself by way of maybe a hobby you could even be monetizing a hobby but you have to engage in something other than going to work coming home to the same obs um make a pit stop and it needs to be to a hobby whatever that may be um just to so that you can create that serenity that peace that that calm that you need take the next step now if some of you are wanting to walk away or go toward take the next step now whatever uh the cards are backing it says take the next step now body changes be aware of your body changes um when the body starts to talk listen to it um this also can talk about health care change it can talk about the need to exercise uh, to just get the body moving functioning um, motivation motivation to do just that with the body changes but motivation to take the next step now to engage in a hobby motivation to have the life that you want you have support here it can happen for you Virgo heavenly signs under that so some of you are, are getting those signs and those wonders that you've been praying about or at least you've been trying to brush off but you know uh, that it's real whatever you've been feeling whatever you you know it's been solidified by way of the universe Virgo if this uh, reading resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram Instago all of my information is below the website will be up shortly um, just send me an email if, if you'd like to request a reading just my email address is below send an email uh, and we'll, we'll move forward with that. Virgo, remember, uh, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until the mid-June readings, all right? Bye for now.